Women do have an elevated sense of self. And my thing is, is I'm not teaching you guys to complain. I'm not teaching you guys to go MGTOW. I'm not teaching you guys to freaking just bash all women and, and just simply not deal with women. Don't get mad. Level up. Just a night job boy, why they calling me a devil? I guess everybody got a demon. Yo, what's good, everybody? This is Hafiz, and welcome to part two of my video series, Lessons I Wish My Big Brother Taught Me About Women. Let's go ahead and jump into it. But guys, if you have not checked out part one, go back and check out part one, The Truth About the Modern Woman, because if you miss a video in this series, the whole series will not make sense, and you'll be very, very confused. So don't forget, guys, the three major rules to watch this series. Rule number one, this is my personal experience and not a generalization of all women. Rule number two, this is Algebra 1 or Women 101. These are just the basics and rule number three be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to continue to get content and notifications when the videos drop every saturday at 9 a.m eastern standard time now without further ado part two hypergamy and being the man every woman desires historically speaking men value women based upon three different attributes the first one is beauty the second one was youthfulness and the third one was femininity and this was the very same scale women used to evaluate themselves but then all of a sudden, guys, things changed. And the modern woman being more masculine has now changed her evaluation of herself, not according to the way men evaluate them, but according to the way they evaluate themselves using a more ma uh, masculine scale. So now women evaluate themselves based upon their career, their finances, their cars, their homes, their degrees. Now this is how they define, you know, what kind of partner that they want. But here's a, here's a fundamental challenge. The challenge is though women are valuing themselves according to this m new masculine scale, men are not. Men are not, generally speaking obviously, men are not looking at a woman's degrees and her money and her, and her career to desire how attractive she is, right? Usually men are using you know, the traditional scale. Like if, let's say if she's an average looking woman and you know, she's on the 50th percentile of looks, that's how men are evaluating her. It's not like, oh, you throw in your career and you throw in your money and you throw in this. Now you went from, you know, 50th percentile attractiveness to now 90th percentile attractiveness, right? That's not how it works. But that's what a lot of women think is going on. That's how a lot of women are moving. And now here's how this creates a big problem. Because a lot of women want a guy who is equal to or greater than themselves. So what they do is they evaluate themselves, right? And they give themselves a number grade. Right? People hate the number system, but everyone subconsciously does it to some degree. So a woman will evaluate herself. I'm going to take my job, take my money, take this, take my confidence, take you know, my social media followers. And they'll say, well, I'm, at, I'm now a nine or I'm now an eight. And what she'll say is, now, I don't want any guys below me. I want a man who's equal to or greater than me. So now she views herself as a top-notch chick and who wants a top-notch guy. But unfortunately... No man is viewing her as a top-notch chick. And now that creates the issue where a lot of modern women are over-evaluated because they're basing themselves according to masculine standards. So I can go on for days about this, but I really want to move forward in this video because a lot of you guys are going to be mad about it. A lot of you guys can be frustrated about it. A lot of you guys can be like, yeah, go off these, tell these women that they're delusional, tell them what's wrong with them. Hey, even though I disagree with the way women evaluate, evaluate themselves today, guess what? This is the world we live in. This is just the system that we live in. Women do have an elevated sense of self. And my thing is, is I'm not teaching you guys to complain. I'm not teaching you guys to go MGTOW. I'm not teaching you guys to freaking just bash all women and, and just simply not deal with women. Don't get mad. Level up. Do not get mad, level up, because that's what is going to require for men today. Unfortunately, a lot of guys, the solution isn't going to be, let's tell women to level down, or the solution isn't going to be change the minds of women everywhere, because it's almost impossible. You as a man need to level up, become more masculine in your mindset and in your avatar, and you're going to see that you're going to unlock women like you've never unlocked women before. To use some of this video game analogy, a lot of women are now locked characters who were unlocked in the past. So a perfect example, if you've ever played Super Smash Brothers, you know that there was general characters that you always got at the beginning of the game, right? You would get, you know, Link, you would get Mario, you would get Luigi, you'll get these general characters when you got the game. But imagine these, these, these characters, now you have to unlock them, right? You have to now go on these missions to unlock these general, these characters that you supposedly were easily supposed to get in the past. 
So my thing is that the average guy, because he naturally had more money than the average woman, he had more confidence, he was more masculine, a lot of girls were just easier access to him. But now, with the modern woman being more successful, now you have to level up and to unlock these girls to be able to get them to not only you know desire you romantically, but to actually respect you and treat you well in a relationship. So let's talk about what does it mean to level up as a man, right? And there's two parts of leveling up. The most important part is the masculine mindset. And a masculine mindset to me is made up of four different things. The first thing is competence. The second thing is mission focus. The third thing is assertiveness. And the fourth thing is confidence. So when I think about competence, guys, I think about LeBron James, right? Basically, a competent man is a man who's at the top of his craft, who shows the world, I am good at what I do. That's why celeb- one of the main reasons why celebrities get so many women, because the competence shows a lot of people that if you're competent in your task, then you probably can get a lot of resources and get paid for that task, and you can be more and more likely financially stable. The problem is a lot of you guys are not competent in anything. You have not built up any skills, right? You have not really climb the social hierarchy in whatever career or field that you're in. So you guys got to develop to become more competent at your job and at your craft. The second thing about being masculine is mission focus. And the best example of this, in my opinion, was Sasuke Uchiha in the amazing show Naruto. Because Sasuke was so focused on his mission, you know, killing Itachi or whatever. And he didn't care about Sakura. He wasn't chasing women. He wasn't wasting his time. He was laser focused. To me, a lot of you guys are so needy, so desperate, always chasing women. You have no careers, no five-year goals, no 10-year goal. You have no mission. You have nothing you're trying to achieve in life. Or alpha male strategy talks about you have no purpose in life, right? And that's why you appear extremely feminine because you're just waiting all day for a girl to text you back. The number three thing is assertiveness. And this is a funny example, but I like this guy. He's a funny character. In the movie Hitch is Vance Munson. Vance Munson said, power suit, power tie, power steering. People can cry, wince, and beg, but eventually they do as I say. Sound like Vance Munson's about to get me too in the future. But besides that, guys, Vance Munson shows one of the key things to masculinity is assertiveness. It's saying, I want this. I'm going to go after this. I'm going to get this. I'm going to demand this. I'm going to get what I want. That's one of the secrets to bad boys. Bad boys, are, are they, they have this assertiveness. They're like, yo, I want you, you, me, Saturday night now. I'm not talking about consent here, guys. But the biggest thing is that the bad guy knows what he wants and he goes after it. And so what you guys got to realize is that a lot of you guys, you're passive. There's no assertiveness, guys. And one of the things about masculinity is assertiveness. And the last thing is confidence, guys. And that's the difference between Steve Urkel and Stefan. When Steve hopped into that machine and became Stefan, Stefan was oozing with sauce and confidence, guys. Confidence is a man's superpower, and a lot of times you get confidence from building up your other skills. And like you said, a lot of you guys are not confident. You're very insecure, right? The modern man is made cottonelle. He's made very soft. And so my biggest thing is that I would really advise you guys to find out what is lacking you from being confident and to tap into that confidence. And a perfect example of this of a masculine man who exhibits all four of these things to me is Don Draper. Yes, I know, Don Draper had a ton of different issues. Man, when he walked in the room, Don Draper was confident. When he wanted something in life, he went after it. Don Draper was focused on killing it in the, in the ad business. And we all know he was at the top of his game. That's why so many women were so drawn to Don. And after you get the mindset, then obviously there's the avatar, which, which I've talked about ad nauseum, which is financial stability, status, fitness, and fashion. Like that's generally like the, a masculine man looks a certain way, his body looks a certain way, his bank account looks a certain way, and people view him a certain way in society. So the purpose of this video, guys, is yes, women have changed. Yes, women have higher standards. Yes, a lot of these standards are unrealistic. But if you want to complain, join the Complain Whiny Club and find YouTube channels to complain. But in this channel, in this series, I'm calling all you guys to level up. And like I said, I'm going to provide you guys all the resources to level up, especially if you watch our previous content. But before we close, a lot of you guys are saying, Hafiz, I'm very confused. I understand what you said about the modern woman. I understand what you talked about in regards to men needing to level up. But I've noticed a lot of guys haven't leveled up. A lot of guys haven't done all these things, but they're in relationships. A lot of these guys have very submissive feminine women. How did that happen? 
I came to that conclusion as well. So obviously, like I said, the, the leveling up for a lot of you guys is going to take a long time. It's going to take work and you're on a process to become it. But I don't want you guys to feel like unless I become rich and famous, I can't get a girl. So that's why I want to talk about my magic formula for the average guy to attract women, to get good quality, healthy women. And we're going to be talking about that in the next video. So next Saturday, 9 a.m., you do not want to miss this part. This is probably, like I said, one of my greatest creations. I want to provide this to you guys free of charge. So like I said, guys, it's all about leveling up, tapping into your masculinity, building the masculine mindset and the masculine avatar. And we'll talk about next week how to attract women as you're in the process of leveling up. My name is Hafiz. Thank you so much. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Share, share, share this video. I look forward to seeing you guys next Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time.